Yeah, I'm Stuart Howe. I'm here in Virginia, VR Change LA, and I want to introduce two great people. I'm here with Abby Martin, 9-11 True San Diego, and Alex Jones, and we're really happy to be here with them. How do you guys think it's going out here at Wildenberg? Yeah, fantastic. This was even more successful than what we had happen in uh, Ottawa, Canada a few years ago, or the footage we got with some folks uh, in Istanbul, Turkey in 2007. Just just amazing things have happened. And uh, Philly 9-11 Truth just got uh, Bernanke, the head of the Federal Reserve, driving in. That's Wait a second. This airport. Yeah, that's a shot I want too later. There's just people from all walks of life here, and you have young kids to old, you know, older people, and we're all together, and people are just constantly figuring out what's going on, and it's great to just see all generations here trying to expose the corruption. Abby, we're glad you flew out from Southern California. Yeah, I was in Jersey, and I found out about Bilderberg, and... Oh, so that was perfect. You were already I was already in the East Coast, and I just knew that we could not pass it up, so that's why we came out here. It's amazing. Alex, Jim Tucker was saying he thinks this is kind of a groundbreaking Bilderberg in that we have so many people out here, so many cameras, that they're taking a different tack based on our presence. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? No, that certainly happened. I mean, just eight, nine years ago or so, you never saw it in our media. And there's clearly been a major change. In the last four or five, they've had little tiny mentions, uh, but very innocuous. Now they're having headline pieces in the Washington Post titled, They Rule and stories in the New York Times like super class. And then they come on my radio show. I've had some of the guys come on. We call them, they go, oh, we know you are, Alex Jones. We'll come on, and they come on and debate me and basically say world government's good. And so <laughs> now they're having to admit, yeah, we run things, but we know best. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're still acting very secretive and acting like we're real dangerous. Some of them are covering yes. up their faces, third world dictators but and people. they have no choice but to acknowledge. Yeah, this is, there. exactly, this is brown gray. We have forced them to admit there's a shadow government, admit there's a new world order, and now they're trying to spin it. Yeah, they're putting out a press release. Uh, they've only done this one other time when they really got exposed in Europe, and it was even more limited. This time they're saying, yeah, we want to censor the internet. Yeah, we want a police state for your own safety. I mean, it's really a disgusting treatise they put out. Now, as they have a controlled resistance pretty well in place, do you think this could be the signs of, of controlled admissions, or they're gonna, they know they have to come out with it, they know they have to admit this to a certain degree, their amount of control is going to be interesting to see. They're going to try to spin it in a way that's least devastating to them. And yeah, that's it. Let's look at the control here. We're exposing they exist. They would always deny it existed and have the New York Times and Washington Post write articles saying we were delusional and these groups didn't exist. Now we've proven they exist. They're saying, yeah, we're a super class. Yeah, we run things, uh, but it's for your own good. But you still see their control and that not one mainstream media outlet, news outlet, mm -hmm. there's a documentary crew here that's with IFC, but not one mainstream ABC, CBS, NBC, uh, Fox, CNN, CNBC, uh, newspapers, local TV, nothing is here. There's a total news blackout on Bilderberg other than a few elite publications who we know attend routinely, which is New York Times and Washington Post, uh, saying, okay, yeah, it exists and we run things, but that was limited. They're allowed to report, no one else touches it. Because the public has also, it's not like all the newspapers are government controlled either, some of the small and medium ones, they've been conditioned. Americans have gone from land of the free, home of the brave, to just these unquestioning drones who are in these little bubbles and afraid to even question. I mean, even talking to, to, you know, to the one TV crew that was here, uh, one of their directors was like, I don't know if it's real. I don't even know if Bilderberg, there's some, some meeting happening, may, maybe, and they got bees on the car and it's in the newspaper. But still, it may not be allowed to say it exists. And so we're, you know, I mean, we're, we're like, no, it does. It's like, no, it may not be Bilderberg. So for anybody that, uh, that doubts that there's a conspiracy, I hate to use the word, but just the list of who's here, just who we know is here, uh, let alone who we haven't confirmed yet is here, uh, and that, if you take that back and then look at who's not here, the media, that's, that says cover-up, that says conspiracy to me, and that's, that's pretty plain in common sense terms. Well, you see the whole paradigm is totally controlled, but then the real issues are never touched upon, that's why we're here to Well, exactly, but, but I mean, even when some mainstream media gets here, you know, documentary film crew, it's not news, but even then it's like, yeah, there's a secret meeting, but is it Bilderberg? Right. I'm like, of course it's Bilderberg, it's in the newspaper. So there's a built-in, global Block. government doesn't exist. I mean, Block. here's an example, I've seen CNN and Fox both report that 
the Trans-Texas Corridor doesn't exist mm -hmm. when it's part of the NAFTA Highway. And there's giant signs up, they're putting the toll roads in, there's TV ads where I live. And I've been watching CNN when they say it doesn't exist, and then a local Trans-Texas Corridor ad, you know, over the local cable system, comes on admitting it. So it's kind of like, I say there's a tree right there with white flowers on it. And it's there, but somebody could say, well, maybe that's not a tree. Maybe those aren't flowers. Maybe there aren't billboards saying Trans-Texas Corridor with, you know, TexDOT, Texas Department of Transportation. And I, and I have people in Austin argue. They go, no, it doesn't exist. The news says it doesn't. And there's billboards, toll roads, it's and they're doing million. it. It's two plus two equals five. Yeah, I mean, it's total mind control. These people are under total denial, total, denial. total mind control. Yeah, I had a, a group, a nice old couple, pull up in a car, and we, we were doing a Ron Paul rally. And there's hundreds of us in the street. And these people pulled up. I said, would you like a little bit of information? This is about uh, Ron Paul. And the guy looks at me, and these hundreds of people, and says, oh, Ron Paul, that's only on the internet. There's no real support. And he's looking at hundreds of people in the street, but yet he's been conditioned to have the denial. <coughs> but I'm surprised he didn't just say Ron Paul doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, because there's, this is a built-in rationale. Yeah. I mean, Bilderberg does exist. It's real. They admit it exists. David Rockefeller wrote a book saying, yeah, I want to get rid of U.S. sovereignty, Bilderberg Group, we run it all. Bill Clinton just acknowledged that he went to a meeting. Yeah, Bill Clinton's on video acknowledging it, we have it, and people Bill are saying, Clinton doesn't exist. The public says, they, it. here's the deal, the public will have to admit the media lied to them. They'll yeah. have to admit their yeah. secret cabals. So they are saying, I choose to believe the old lies when they said it doesn't exist. So yeah. we're breaking through that. This is Well, no, I mean, the public's still saying, I don't care if Bill Clinton yeah. says he it's went. Getting I don't care if it's real. I don't care if there's bees on their cars. I don't care if there's secret service and troops running around. Media, it doesn't the exist. The Bilderberg it doesn't exist. Oh, everything's fine. Bill Clinton didn't lie to me 10 years ago saying it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's in their face now more than before. So some people are being forced to confront the reality. <laughs> so here it is. The trees and Fabian. Well, I'm teasing as see think over here. I like Davis, but... Uh, Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The trees give us credit that exists. No, we got you on tape, Davis. No, no you don't. His real name is Andy. You he likes to be called Davis. You, you can rewind it. The Bilderberg. You said you said there is a meeting going on. I said there's people who. who but you're like, is it? But is it Bilderberg? Is that a real? No, no, no. Bilderberg meeting exists. It's Blunderborg. Absolutely. You're committing a thought crime right now. Good <laughs> <laughs> news. He's committing. <laughs> I, got, I got a good sound bite. Double plus good. We'll see if we have it. <laughs> Any other closing thoughts, you guys? Alex, Abby? I'm just really excited to be here. The energy here is just unbelievable. Yeah, great. Absolutely. This, is, this is the revolution right here. Anyone's not a part of it is missing out. A lot of good energy. Alex? Let me ask you this question. Is 2 plus 2 equal 4? Absolutely. That's the essence of thought crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Stuart How's We Are Change LA. Glad everybody back. Thanks, guys. Back in LA and around the world. Thanks for tuning in and be here with us next time. We're everywhere. Join us. Join us. Get out of your homes. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you.